Hello everyone, you're welcome. This is Kingsley from Kingsbird Designs. If you're just joining me for the first time, please ensure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload new video. Okay, in today's tutorial, we are going to be looking at how to move or transfer our website from our local host server we've been working on up to down to our live server. Now, for you to do this here, yeah, I'm going to get some necessary things down already. So we are going to ensure you have your you've already bought your domain and your hosting down already in case you actually want to get your domain at a discounted price. You can actually check in the, the your domain and hosting at a discounted price. You can actually check the description box below. I can buy get it from my affiliate link. Actually, I'm using Namecheap for my hosting. Namecheap is a, actually a very trusted hosting platform you can, use, you can use. So you can actually get it from the description box below. There's a link there. So now let me, I'm going to log on to my control panel now. I'm already in my account. I'm going to log on into my control panel. It's actually going to redirect me over to my C panel. So let's head over to our C panel now. Now from here, I'm going to be doing something. We are going to be ensuring, like now I have a website, I'll actually, I'm going to be uploading my, this, the website will be creating, working on, I'm going to upload it onto this domain. I actually have this domain created and have a site running on, on it already. It's actually another test site I have. I actually work for a client, so I'm going to just upload it onto this particular website now so i'm going to show you how to do that now so now i'm going to go back to where i have this so i already show you everything from this side now the, what i'm going to be doing next is to head over to where i'm having my i'm going to head over to my local host server so now on my local host let me just do something i'm going to go to my computer where i've been working go to my C drive, then come to ZAM, then on ZAM I'm going to come to where I have HT dots. Then I'm going to locate the folder where of the website I want to upload. So this is the folder. I'm going to open it up, then open the WordPress. These are the folders. So now what you are going to do now, you can see I have already done the what the export and I'm going to click this one out. So what you are going to do, all the folders inside this particular folder, you are going to select them, then right click on them, then what you are going to do, I'm using WinRAR in my, on my system right now, so some of you might be using 7-zip or if you don't have it, you can actually download either WinRAR or 7-zip and just install it, but once you've done that, right click on it, select, select all of them, right click on it, then you come to where you see add to achieve, then click on add to achieve. So once you've clicked on add to achieve, <laughs> what you're going to see now is you are, it's going to show you this. So now I'm going to select ensure if you export your website as a RAW file, it's not going to work. Ensure it's always a zip file. So you're going to select a zip file. Always export your website as a zip file. So now you're after doing that, you're going to click on export. You can see actually exported gave it. I mean, so it's going to export it in this particular folder. So once I click on export, I mean, and compress, it's going to compress it. You can see it's actually compressing it. So I don't want to, it to complete because I've already done that already. So yeah, I have it here already. So I'm going to, after doing this, the next thing I'm going to do is to head over to my browser and go to my local host. So once I've got my so I'm going to go to localhost slash php my admin what I'm going to do in this particular side is to export my database I need to get the backup of my database so I'm going to do that right now so this is my php my admin so I'm going to now click come to where I have the website this is the website that database will be I've been using so I'm going to click on it it's going to open up so after it I click on it you can see it's having this is the database so what i'm going to do now is to click on export then click on export it's going to export all the database so now 
ignore just forget about what this is actually i did a sentence that's why so i'm going to, once you have this now you can see exporting tables for that particular database so i'm going to after doing that you're going to click on go once you click on go it's going to actually download the ex this is my database is actually downloading so as it's downloading okay it's done downloading that's actually finished downloading so it is actually my download folder i'm going to go let me show you where it is in my download folder opening folder so you can now see this is my downloaded file so now i'm now what the next thing i'm going to do is to move over to since i already have my zip file of the website the food uh, files so i'm now going to move over to my and uh, to my control panel on my server side i'm going to go to my server side on the control panel okay this is my control panel so let me just log in let me click on my file manager so once i click on file manager it's actually going to bring me over to this particular place so once i now come here you can see i have all this bunch of this thing. yeah so i have now what i'm going to do now is to just locate my public folder so public.html slash html folder i'm just going to double click on that so you can see this is my whole website I've, i have on this now so what i'm going to do now is to i want to do something now i'm going to go to view my trash i have some files already in my trash so i'm going to select all of them i'm going to what i'm going to do i want to ensure i delete them so that this is my trash and to empty the trash so i'm going to empty my trash so let me view trash now my trash is actually empty so now i'm going to go back to home i'm going to go back to my home then public so now what i want to actually want to do now is to ensure i want to remove all this so i'm going to trash all this ones so that i'll be able to so I'm, once i do that i'm going to click on delete i'm going to hit on delete so it will, if I want to permanently delete, I'll have to stick this, but I want to trash them because I might restore them back. So I'm going to click on confirm. It's at, the folder is actually empty. It's, at, it's already, you can see if I come to view trash, here yeah, they in the trash. So I'm going to go back. This is my public.html folder. But now I'm going to now click on upload. So and once I click on upload, it's going to open up this particular place for me what i'm the next thing i'm going to do is to either i'm going to drag in my already zipped file into this particular side i'm going to click here and drag it over to this particular place so once i leave it it's going to start uploading you can see it's actually uploading it might take a while depending on your the size of your website folder you are actually bringing in so now I'm going to just wait for it to finish uploading. Once it finished uploading, I'm going to now ensure I unzip the files. I'm going to extract it out. So I'm just going to wait. Let's wait for it to finish uploading. So you can now see once it finished uploading, it's going to turn this color, which is green. So it will show you completed. So what I'm now going to do is to come back let me go back to where i have this if i should reload this particular place you are going to see the already the zip file here so what i'm going to do is to extract it so i'm going to extract click on either you come here and click on extract or you right click on it and click on extract so extract into this particular public slash uh, underscore html file so i'm going to extract it here so once that is done extracted so now let's try something i want to show you something let's refresh this particular website and see you, you will see that it's not actually it's actually not going to open because the files are no longer there there's no, there's no connection with the database any longer so it's no longer there any longer so what i'm going to now do is to go back to where i have my so now i'm going to do some things now one we brought in our website for file folder into 
the our server side so the next thing i'm going to do is to go to my php my admin so i'm going to come back here to my control panel i'm going to go to my sql so you are going to scroll down you are going to see something like my sql database on this my sql database i'm going to right click on it open it up so it's going to i'm going to what i'm going to do here is to create i have to create a new database for this the website i'm going to bring in so on under new database i'm going to insert the name of the data, database let me see the name of the data, database is lord gate international worship center let me use this as then create so now so this is the database it has actually created it so i'm going to copy this particular database name so i'm going to ensure i save it somewhere let me put it this is the database name let me database name so i'm going to do something then let me see data database user name then let me copy database user user password I'm just trying to prepare all this down so that I will, once I come so okay now I've created this copy the database name I'm going to go back so once I go back I'm going to come and come to where I have database SQL user so I'm going to create a user for it let me say the user is let me use admin let me use admin as the user and under the password I can actually use create my own password or I can just generate let me just generate password for it then let me generate another one let me copy it I've copied this password is safe then use password now I'm going to paste the password here the now i'll create user so now after doing that i'm going to now come here copy the username then paste the username here this is the password this is the username and now i'm going to go back now what i'm going to now do now the final step in this side i'm going to now come to where i have add user to database now i have this user so that is so i'm going to this is the one i just created i'm going to click on this then which of the database this particular database so i'm going to add once i click on add it's going to take me here to actually set all the, priv the privileges for this particular user so i'm going to select all privileges so so this user can be able to alter anything in it then make save click on make changes so changes have been made so what i'm now going to do is to go back i'm actually done with this particular site so the privileges have been set now i'm going to what i'm going to now do since i already have my details for the for my database i created i'm going to now configure this my wordpress to have this particular details i actually have new details i have here so i'm going to now go back to where i have my file manager again I'm going to come back here where I have my file manager and I'm now going to go on my file manager okay this is it under here now I'm going to reload again to ensure I'm still logged in so I'm going to now come to where I have my php.config.php my wp I'm going to come to where I have wp.config.php so I'm going to right click on it and click on edit so I'm going to edit so now it's going to open up a new tab for me so what i'm going to do now do is to you can see these are the old this thing we have in my other database in my old database i was actually using this is the old the details we are having so i'm going to now replace it with a new one i'm coming with now so now i'm going to now under the database name this is the database name i'm going to copy it and place it under the database name then the database user 
this is this and the database user password is this so i'm going to replace it where i have password i'm going to do replace it with this so now i'm going to click on save changes then once that is done i'm going to close this particular tab so this particular changes have been made already so the next thing i'm going to do now is to go and replace this my database with my new settings so now i'm going to go to where i have my php my admin under my control panel i'm going to go under control panel i'm going to go to php my admin then import my sql database i exported remember i exported i have my already exported sql file so i'm going to come to php my admin it's going to open up this is this is actually going to redirect me to where i have my php my admin so i'm going to wait for it okay here is it this is my php my admin so these are all the websites so far in database so far on this particular account so i'm going to this is the one the new one i created now let me click on my database now so once i click select the database now the database has been selected you can see there's no table at all on the database what i'm going to now do is to click on import once i click import my database i'm going to click on import then choose my file must be an sql file remember so this is the file i'm going to click on it so once i click on that i'm now going to click on open you can see it's going to show up here once that is done this is it so now i'm now going to scroll down i'm now going to scroll down you can see oh, no five children let me select it again now we have it this is it here so i'm going to now scroll down and click on go so once i click on that go it's going to actually upload it the file was really little if not you would have seen it it's actually was actually uploading from here directly or you can see it was a very small file that's why it actually uploaded so fast so now i'm going to now this is actually the it has actually imported about 69 queries and these are all the so once i click on this it's going to load up and show me this is all my these are all my tables so far on my website so the next the last thing i'm going to do to the, my website now is to come to where i have my wp options then i'm going to open the let me open it from here let me open my wp option table so once i click on my wp P option table we have my local host where i have my site url and where i have my home url i'm going to update it to my current website url so i'm going to i'm going to copy this url then once i copy that let me paste it here so that you see how the link is this is how i have it so i'm now going to copy it with the http yes, so i'm going to if it is https you have to ensure it is https so i'm going to double click inside and just paste in my new address then click outside it's going to save actually save one row affected double click on this also do the same thing to this click outside one row also affected now that is all about it so now let's now go back to our website let's refresh our website now and see so once you've done that you can see our website is now up and running it's actually live without waste of time it's it's actually already online so you can see we've actually succeeded in taking uh, that our uh, replacing the old website i was having here to this particular new website so that is just how you do that so now once you've done this it's not actually this is not actually the end of everything why do i say so you after after actually need to now come and start you can see some of the links you can check see from the under here where you'll be seeing if you check under there you are going to see that some of the links are actually still correct why some you need to like for this example this one that was internal linking you need to relink them again so you have to go back to your dashboard and 
ensure you relink all these things again so that is just how you do sync all these ones they are actually okay so you have to ensure you actually go back those ones that did not link very well so you have to ensure you relink them again so that is just how you actually do all this particular or how you upload your website to your you can see this one was actually internal linking it's still having a local host under it so now that is just if i let me say for example if i should click on it it's actually not going to it's going to let me say the address is actually a wrong address because of it's still carrying a local host on it if you're still watching this video and you have not yet considered subscribing to my channel please hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload new videos so i believe you might have actually learned a lot from this particular video you've actually learned the right way to upload your website into your from to take your website from your live localhost server up down to your live server you can see what i said is actually I have to enter relink all these things again before it's going to work very well so that is just what all the changes you need to ensure you do so now i believe you might have learned from this particular video you know the right way you can you actually upload your website into your wordpress website to your live server and if you have any question or any difficulty anywhere within this particular tutorial you can actually drop in the comment box below i will try my best to see how to answer and also if you have a video idea of which you want me to create for you can actually drop in the comment box below i'll also do the same thing or try my best to answer this is where i'm going to stop until next time bye for now Oh, 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 oh,